I want to talk about Jawan Jennings. He looked like he was really coming on. Like they were starting to give him more and more targets because Muhammad Sanu was out. And then when Debo Samuel got hurt, you're thinking, all right, well, this is an opportunity for Jawan Jennings to step up and get maybe five, six targets. He got one, mm-hmm. caught it, and that was it. And then the vat, I mean, so many snaps and targets go, five targets go to Trent Sherfield, who I felt was kind of like, not really ready for the game. He'd been on ice for a month and a half. Jawan Jennings was the one who seemed to be getting ramped up and then nothing. I think the night Kyle needs to re-examine that and maybe get Jennings more involved in this upcoming game. Maybe they can, I'm sure they can win without him, but it seems like a weapon. What do you think? I thought that Jennings would see the field, not only because of those things that you mentioned, but the run blocking ability. And I think that he was, he, he was, you know, and especially when you talk about the Seattle game, you thought that the 49ers were going to try to go out there and run the ball, but that game, that was one of the weirdest games I've ever seen in my life. But having said all that, it was a Seattle game. And usually those games are like that, where you can explain nothing. And it's always everything bounces their way or it's just an insane game back and forth. But, yeah, it was a little bit baffling to not see Jennings out there a little bit more because of how good he had been week after week. It looked mm-hmm. like he had been stacking good games, right? It started in mm-hmm. Jacksonville. Then then Minnesota, he scores. He almost scores another touchdown. He's actually playing on the outside. So for all this yeah. talk about big spot. Right. If yeah. He was actually playing outside. And, yeah. and and that's the part that I found a little bit weird is especially when you were having trouble running the ball, right? And credit Seattle. Credit Seattle. Because, again, this false equivalency of, well, look what New England did Monday and look what the 49ers did. They stopped running it. Well, the Bills didn't run what Seattle ran. And also, the Bills, aside from one run from Damian Harris, would have given up six points. Six. And that was off two field goals. Right. So they didn't do a bad job. It, it was just in circumstance when you give up that one touchdown and you're not allowed to score. If you would have told the Bills they would have put up 14 points in that game, they probably would have told you 10 out of 10 times they win. But obviously the weather conditions had to do something with that. But the the false equivalency between what I'm seeing of, well, the Bills, you know, I mean, the Patriots did that against the Bills. Seattle. Right. For everything that we talked about, all the raw numbers said, hey, Seattle's not good against the run. The thing is, that can be true. But what they run against the 49ers to knock out the zone blocking scheme that can also be true so what works against one team may not work against another they did a great job of putting right somebody right on the on the center they had their three techs inside the tackles with their inside shoulder they put them in positions where they couldn't get double teams and that's why the run game wasn't as successful it's Mm -hmm. not necessarily that seattle's run defense is so good or that the the 49ers run offense failed them it's just that seattle had a very good plan and sometimes they can match up better also let me throw out Guess who knows the 49ers better than anybody? Yeah. The Seattle Seahawks. So that's the thing. It's, 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 especially when you're talking about the run game struggling in that way. I would have thought that Joan Jennings would have been on the field a bunch more, especially after he's just been ramping up a little bit more in the receiving game. So I don't know if I even gave an answer, but I kind of wanted to get that off my chest in terms of people telling me, well, look what the Patriots did. Huh? They had one really <laughs> long run and they just ran, 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 and they just kind of milked the clock more than anything. <laughs> Okay, fair. But as far as Jennings goes, all I want to say is I understand using Benjamin or Sherfield to like clear out because like, you know, Jennings is slow. But when it's time, it's time to like throw dude the ball. Hey, man, can it be Jennings? Like two. First of all, five targets for Sherfield, one for Jennings. That's backwards. And then two targets for Sherfield in, in the end zone. In the, in the red the zone. On See, the that's line. the one. That should that's be Jennings. One. That's also, the one that kind of bothers me. What? Come on, man. I have play your best players, please, Kyle. It's so many times, I feel like on defense, the Niners play their best players. But on offense, it's like, yo, Kyle, can you spread the ball around? Can you be- get your best guys in? And it shouldn't well, be that hard. And and if this was coming out of training camp when all the buzz was on Trent Sherfield and everything, right? Like, let's say this game happened in week one and Trent Sherfield's getting a ton of snaps, then I have no problem with it. But Trent Sherfield's largely been a ghost. And a guy has been playing well, and he didn't see the field. Again, right. Kyle's smarter than me. I'm just observing, and this is just an observation from the outside looking in. Just, uh, yeah, I'm just I, speculating. People might, try, might might think like, hey, Grant, you're saying this guy should get, you know, Ayuk's open, Jennings should get more balls, but they also should run the ball a lot. Yeah, I'm saying the Niners maybe should spread the ball around a little bit. I mean, I know Debo's great, Kittle's great, but so far it's like it's like there's a Debo game, and then there's a Kittle game. It's like, can't you – you have so many weapons. It seems like you should be able to leverage all of them in the same game. You know why? You definitely know why. I don't want to say it. Because I'm already a Jimmy oh, Number 10. Uh, don't say it. Sean says, Grant, there was no more, there was no room for Kendrick Bourne. There's only so many balls go around. We can't tie up too much. Ca- exactly, right? Like I'm that's another guy I'm saying should be here catching balls. 
if you had known that Debo Samuel was going to be an MVP running back, maybe they would have kept Kendrick Bourne. Well, I think I think that what a lot of people forget about Kendrick Bourne, and, and I'm guilty of this myself, so I have to take that L on this one myself. Is oh okay, he doesn't really he doesn't really do too much, and he's just a guy who catches you know possession receiver over the but he played every single game. And when Debo Samuel was injured, he was as reliable as it got. Third downs, red zone, those are the sort, of, and he blocked. And, and he's he blocked. young. He's still and getting he, better. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I mean, I think that I miscalculated that one as well too. Me too. He he would have been very well received right there in that game with Debo out. But yeah, I mean, you know, it, it happens. I think the lesson there is just don't take those players for granted. Like they're not game changers but they're your guys yeah. you develop them they're young they're not particularly expensive like don't think that you're just gonna replace them with the next one because it's not that easy even though you are very good at it it's not like you have a hundred percent success right here happy for kendrick Bourne, and he's also done something that i could never have imagined he made bill belichick smile after a game i i, I couldn't even like that's the sort of energy that is something that's not it's not a it's not something that you can you know time with a watch or anything like that but having that in the locker room is a big thing. And I think that, you know, a lot of people took it as his dancing is something that's bad, but energy is needed. And, you know, and maybe some, there's something to that as well.